not impressed with the Sumerian down and the food. <laughs> Okay, so we are about to go for dinner. Uh, it's our final meal of the trip in Peru. Mm -hmm. And um, ending off the bang again. Oh, really? We are ending off with San Maido. Maido. Uh, and then just crown world. Uh, just crown world our number one, uh, the one, number one restaurant in Latin America uh, okay. today. And uh, <laughs> the popping off Central. And uh, excited. Yes. Fit said it's not there today, I know. But uh, yeah, so I think it's a very fitting end to uh, Peru Lake because um, Peru food is really all about a blend of different cultures and cuisines. And, um, and Maido is actually a Nikkei, which is Peruvian and Japanese. Japanese. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to see what it's all about. Yeah. And, uh, one day. Yeah, you just. <laughs> see, number uno. So yeah, my do. See you later. All right. Wait for dinner. Button down shirt. Hola. I'll go for the classic one, right? I want to choose every one. Okay. Uh, the brewery is localized in the prefecture de Itawa in north of Japan. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's made with uh, the sake. All the way in Peru, <laughs> halfway around the world. Dry. Thank you. What is the first step? We call it snacks. We're gonna start with the fingers. Okay, let's go. So we have a chicken sandwich. Uh, this snacks first course, chicken sandwich, and we have some scallops and sausage and something. I've come out with this and uh, chow mushi to start off. Let's go with the chicken sandwich. I thought that was a cracker, but that was actually chicken skin. That was really good. Really good part. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Take on ceviche with uh, brewery fish, ahi, tiardito with uh, avocado, lemon at the bottom, and a little bit grape. So we have uh, a comfy pork with the chinchonas you had before. It's a whole pork that's uh, still in lard. And uh, steamed bun and kimchi mayonnaise. Very interesting. It's kombat pao, but instead of stewed, it's a uh, it's a comfy kombat. Very cool. Well done. I see the I see the take of Asian the food there. Eh? Take on the stew. Yes. Oh wow. Oh, all right, we have uh, guinea pig again. Slow, twice, twice fried and a rocotto cauliflower puree. Nice. Uh, yeah, it's rocotto. Very cheesy. I'm sure they add a lot of butter. Right. Butter, a lot of butter. Nigiri, Wagyu, Scallops and Une, and uh, Toro. What's interesting is that there's no wasabi to be found anywhere. Is it vinegar rice? Let me know this is vinegar rice. It's not even really shock green rice. It's not even really Japanese rice. But then again, this is not Japan. This is. This is this is Peruvian style. Baklao with nuts, uh, papere and uh, squid uh, and miso. Beef shop ribs with potatoes and Indian beans. Uh, uni. Look at the size of the freaking loaf. Uh, avocado and baby corn. Coco, coco, coconut 
Ah, is it? Ah, ooh, ooh. Amazon white chocolate, Amazon fruits, I can alright, here's some show you stuff today. Fancy. Oh, he did say show you. Just finished my dough, Vienna's. Yeah. And that was a very good meal. Uh, flavors were punchy, it was full of umami. Yeah. Uh, very innovative way of uh, combining some Asian cuisines with uh, local Peruvian style. Yes, yes. And uh, but. we had a wine berry, and the wine berry was the one that really bring it over, bring over the top. Uh, so if you go to my door, don't skip on the wine fairy. Skip on the wine fairy. Wine fairy is really good. Uh, yeah. Very interesting flavors. Very interesting. Bringing out normal wines to something new. Very fancy. Very different. So yeah, my door, one number seven, off the list. And that's the end of Peru. See you in Chile tomorrow.